Hi everyone. In today's lecture, we will discuss about break and continuous statements in Java. Fine. So these are also called as transfer statements or jump statements. Basically, these statements are used to transfer control from one point to another point in a program. So first of all, let's discuss the break statement. Fine. Then we will discuss about the continuous statement in Java. So we can use break statement in the following cases. Let's discuss the first case. See, we can use it inside switch statement to terminate a case. It means by using the break statement, we can get rid of a so-called fall through problem. So basically, this fall through problem, you know, we have already discussed this problem in the switch condition statement lecture. You can see that lecture to know about this problem and how we can uh, you, you know get rid of this problem by using the break statement. I have already explained this thing in that lecture. Now let's see this example. Basically, this is one of the example I have taken, you know, uh, just to explain you the first use case of the break statement. So here we have break statement inside every case, right? So byte B is equal to 10. Now switch of B means switch of 10 because the value of B is what 10. Now tell me which one is the match case here? Which one is the match case here? So obviously this case, this case is the matched case as the label value is 10 here, right? And here also switch of B means switch of 10. So 10 and here also we have 10. So this is the matched case. So what will happen in this case? This statement basically what is this system dot out dot print inside case one will execute. Then we have the break statement, right? So when this break statement will execute, then the execution control will come out, you know, will come out from the switch case block. And the statements and the statements present after the switch block will execute. So this is what the first use case of break statement. I hope this thing is pretty much clear to you. Now let's discuss the second case. So we can we can also use the break statement inside loop based on some condition. Okay. See what will happen when JVM will encounter the break statement inside loop. When JVM will encounter break statement inside a loop, you know, then the loop will terminate immediately and the program and the program control will resumes from the statements present after the loop. Let's understand this point by the help of one example. So let's see this example. Here, see, I have one array, int array A, and the values are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So this is what I am trying to retrieve the elements of an array and I am trying to print on the console. We have already seen this in the for loop lecture, right? Now my point over here is, here we are using this break statement, right, which is present inside the if block. So basically, when the value of i, this i will become 3, then what will happen here? The expression will become 3 equal to equal to 3, which will give you what? True. True. And the control will go for this statement because it is true. So break will execute. So when the break will execute, then what will happen? The control will come out immediately from the for loop and the and the control will resumes from the statements present after the loop. Right? Clear with this example? So see, see here, in this example, this break statement execution depends upon some condition. Here the condition is i equal to equal to 3. So when this condition is true, then only the break statement will execute. 
that is the reason I have mentioned here we can use break statement inside loop based on some condition. So this is the second use case of break statement. I hope this thing is also pretty much clear to you. Clear with the point? So uh, this is what the for loop initialized with i is equal to 0 and you are checking the condition here and you are incrementing the value by 1. Right? So when the value of, of i will become 3, then you want to come out from the loop or you want to terminate the loop right that is why I have added this logic here clear sometimes your requirement is like this so you can use uh, the break here right fine now let's discuss about continue statement see basically continue is also a transfer statement which is used to skip current iteration and to bypass flow of execution to the next iteration fine what do you mean by this line you will get to know soon okay so continue is used only in loops whenever you are specifying a continue statement in a loop then it is always recommended to use continue along with a condition let's see one example here see this is the example i have taken so basically see here here we are using the continue statement inside the while loop uh, clear with this point and this continue statement is used inside the if block it means the execution of this continue statement depends upon the condition which is specified here all right clear with the point what was my point that whenever you are using a continue statement in a loop then it is always recommended to use continue along with a condition fine so now tell me what will happen when the gvm will encounter this continue statement so when this continue statement will execute then the program control will go for the next iteration and the current iteration will be skipped what what you thought is hey after this statement this statement should execute right then only it should go for the next iteration but if you are using the continue and this condition is true then you know what will happen the current iteration will be skipped you know it got execute till here and it the control will go for the next iteration the control will never come to this and you know this statements are not going to execute so this is what the role of continue i hope this case of continue statement is clear to you next so you know we have labeled continue statements and labeled break statements also in java and this is the syntax to use this so this is all about what the break and continue statement in java so so thanks for watching this video please subscribe our youtube channel to get the further updates